welcome to this edition of Computer Doctor. I'm Michael Frushauer, and today I'm going to show you how to install an IDE internal hard drive into your computer. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, you have your computer here, which is a Windows NE gateway. Um, just lay it down flat so that the uh, uh, sliding um, sliding panel of the computer is faced up. Uh, you're going to want to unscrew the thumb screws on the side of the computer right here. Get these unscrewed. Okay, take this uh, sliding panel off, which will then reveal the inside of the computer. Set that aside. All right, and here now we have the inside of our computer. Uh, I'm going to take this part off that just um, secures the uh, hard drive panel to the rest of the computer. Um, there might be some screws connected to lock in this um, panel for your um, hard drives, this bay, I should say. Um, what you're going to need is a screwdriver that we have here, and just unscrew. Um, there's three screws for my computer. Unscrew um, as many screws that are connected to your hard drive bay to make this bay come out. So um, do that now. I'll unscrew these. All right, now that you have the hard drive bay unscrewed, you should easily be able to take out your hard drive bay and set it somewhere inside your computer to get easy access to the hard drive slots. Here is your master hard drive that's already connected to your computer. I'm just going to disconnect it right now to um, be able to show you what the um, hard drive should look like inside the bay. This is your master hard drive. This is your um, internal hard drive that uh, all your files get stored onto. Now, uh, you're probably buying a uh, second internal hard drive to get more space on your computer. So uh, we're gonna take now the um, second internal hard drive, which we have here. And this is an IDE hard drive. Um, the difference between an IDE and an SATA hard drive are um, basically the time period. So back when uh, Windows XP was popular, uh, the operating system only um, supported uh, IDE internal hard drive. Now, for example, in Windows Vista and uh, Windows 7, they support both an IDE and an ATA or SATA hard drive. Um, but because we are using a Windows XP or um, earlier computer, you need to use a IDE internal hard drive. Now, very simple, you're just gonna slide it in to this bay here. And you're going to want to give it some room for ventilation. Slide it in and then uh, you should be able to screw in on the side. There's holes for screws. Get some few screws and screw it in so that it's nice and secure. Okay. Now that you have uh, your hard drive nice and secure into your computer uh, or into your uh, hard drive bay. Now we're going to actually take the entire bay and um, lay it inside your computer. Okay. Now the connections to get your hard drives to your motherboard, BIOS board, um, are actually very simple. It just requires two cables. Let me show you here a um, a motherboard. Here's a computer motherboard. On the motherboard, there are these slots right here. For there's two on this motherboard that I'm showing. Um, these are your IDE data ports, where you will connect a cable, your data cable, for your IDE hard drive. Now there's a master, a slave, and the main board 
um, connection to the uh, the notch on the motherboard for that uh, data cable to be inserted. There's two for for you to connect you know, two hard drives to. Um, very simple. The part of the cable that says that it goes to the board, the main board, you're just going to snap that in very easily to your board. Okay, very simple. It just snaps in. This will now um, connect to your hard drives and the data transferring will go from your hard drives to the motherboard and it will uh, be able to recognize your files on your computer. Um, now the other end, there's a master and a slave. These are where your um, hard drive will be connected to. Now the master is going to be for your master hard drive right now um, where all your files are stored all the system files for your computer to boot up and everything are stored are on your master so you're going to plug this into your master hard drive for the slave it's going to be for your secondary hard drive you'll plug the slave end of this id data cable into the secondary hard drive that we just installed on the computer so let's do that now we're going to take our data cable Top one is for master, bottom one is for your secondary hard drive, and just simply plug it in. Top one for your master, bottom one for your secondary hard drive. Make sure that it snaps in and that it's not loose, or else you might not have a secure connection and might not recognize your hard drive. Now that we have them both plugged into both hard drives, now both hard drives need to be powered. Um, and the computer's power uh, power um, supply system, um, and this one is back here. Uh, on most computers, um, they should look like this. Um, on the inside, it has um, a bunch of cables, as you can tell, we have here. Um, these are the power connectors for your um, hard drives. On this cable I'm showing right here, it has two power connections connected on to the same cable. The reason for that is for your master and slave hard drives that we just installed. So um, connect those now. Let's uh, take the master. Let me just uh, loosen this up really quick. Right. You should be able to now connect um, right here very easily uh, your power connections to both hard drives for your master and for your slave. Okay, right here. Plug them in. Second one. There we go. So now you should both both hard drives should now have power connected to them and the data cable, the ID cable, should be connected to both hard drives allowing file transferring to go from your hard drives to the motherboard of your computer which will then allow you to access all your files on your computer. Um, there is one more thing that I would like to explain about your hard drive. Let me just disconnect these really quick. Right here on your hard drive, there's a slot. This slot is called your jumper slot. Um, there's four prongs inside your jumper slot. Um, the first one right here um, is for your master. Second, I mean, they all have an assigned uh, position for um, a different thing in that will recognize to your computer. If you have the, the, the jumper notch on the second line, of your um, of all four prongs, then it'll allow your computer to um, search through the hard drives and select automatically um, through the slave port that this is your secondary hard drive. If you have this connected to the first slot of your hard drive, it will um, recognize as the master hard drive. That's not what you want. Uh, you might have issues booting up your computer 
um, because it will recognize that there's two master hard drives, there can only be one. So I strongly recommend that you have the jumper notch in the second slot of these four slots in your jumper notch. Um, that's just about it. So now, uh, let me just slide this back in really quick. For example, um, you should have all your cables connected. Um, you would very base easily um, very easily connect your um, hard drive bay back to your computer. All the cables should be plugged in. You want to get your computer side cover panel. Slide back on, put your thumb screws back into your computer, uh, plug, them, plug all the cables back in, turn it on, and you should be set. And that's a tutorial on how to install an IDE hard drive, internal hard drive in you.